Hey guys and welcome back to my studio. So today we have some really cool figures right here, okay? I think we are going to open this Kinder Surprise Net Tunes, which contains some animal figurines. So I think they look very, very cool. Hopefully we are able to get some cool animals. So let's begin. Alright guys, so let's begin, okay? So let's take a look at this. Hopefully you are able to get some sea animals as well as wild animals so i think this is pretty exciting so let's cut this open i mean if you are using a box cut at home just be really careful let's see how many surprise eggs we have right here um one two three and four so let's open them up okay so the first one so let me just put this one right here um, place a container so we are going to put all the chocolates into the container later on of course okay so yep check this out beautiful milk chocolate so let's open this right I'm gonna place the milk chocolate right here and uh, let's have a look at what's the first figure that we have hopefully it doesn't you know hopefully we don't have like assemble many of them like it's easy to assemble hopefully it will be nice okay so let's have a look at the leaflet so i think we've got ourselves a chameleon that's pretty cool quite a nice one i would say so let's see how do we actually assemble it um okay so you have to put these two pieces together like this just pop it right in and how do you actually attach this click hmm let's see let's see okay I think this needs we need to figure this out like how do we actually do this okay I think you have to Put it right over here like this. Just snap it right in. Not too sure how this actually works, but I think, I think you have to put it like this, something like that. Looks very nice. Okay, so the very first one that we have is actually a chameleon. Yeah, quite a nice one. I think maybe we didn't like you know attach it in the right way, but we'll figure out later on. Okay, because. I am more excited about, you know, seeing what's inside the rest of the egg. So let's have a look. Okay, this time we didn't manage to open this as um pretty as the other one. All right, the milk chocolate looks really good. Don't worry, I've actually washed my hands, so my hands are pretty clean. Okay, let's have a look at this. Wow, I think we've got like a penguin, I think. This looks pretty cute. Let's have a look at the leaflet first. Yep, I'm pretty sure this is a penguin. So, this should be easily assembled. Let's just place like two of the, um, the figures together like this. Just pop it right in. And you can just pop the figure onto the legs like this. Quite nice. Alright, so this is basically the penguin. So you can actually push it around like this. Kind of cute I would say. So, so far we have a sea animal and a wild animal, a reptile. Alright, let's proceed to our next one. Let's open this one up as well. Okay. Let's slowly peel this open. Similar to this. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Wow, this one looks like a monkey. I think it could be like a monkey. A kangaroo. Nice. Okay, let's fix this kangaroo. I think this is a kangaroo. Okay, so 
um, I think this one goes in right here, which is like the legs. So let's just pop it right in. Okay, it's not easy, I would say. I think you definitely like need an adult to um, help you. I mean, of course, if you are a kid, you definitely need your parents to help you. I'm an adult and I'm struggling myself, which is kind of funny. And I'm supposed to be a professional toy reviewer. <laughs> and I'm struggling. I'm struggling to assemble this. This is weird. Okay, let's try it. Let's try this again. Come on, we can do this, Dan. Come on. I'm struggling so bad, guys. Okay, just press it right in. I have to pause the video, guys. Okay, so I finally got the hind legs in. So it's time for us to um, put it on the upper torso. So it's done. With quite a nice, like, you know, giant kangaroo and it has a movable body which looks kind of cute so so far we have a penguin which is right here so this penguin looks amazing as well kangaroo and a chameleon i still haven't figured out like you know i'll figure out later on you know how we can actually balance this chameleon but let's open up another one right here which is um the fourth one from the first box so yep I think we should be able to get a different figure. Seems like every egg is actually different when it comes to um, the figures. Hopefully the second box will be able to get different animals. I think that would be cool. Alright, let's have a look at this. It's definitely a different animal as you guys can see. And it seems to be, it seems to be a bear. Let's have a look. No, it's not a bear. It looks like... um, It looks like a lioness. I think it should be a lioness or it could be a mountain lion. Of course, it doesn't have um the name written right here. But I think most likely it's a mountain lion. So I think this one should be... um, I should be able to assemble this quite easily. Yep, let's try this. This one goes in right here. Yep. This is easily assembled. So what do you guys think? Is this like a mountain lion or is this like a lioness? I think it should be a mountain lion. Yeah, like a puma. Very, very cool figure. All right, it's time for us to open up this box, but let me figure out how to actually assemble this chameleon. Let me try this. Okay, so here's the chameleon. I think it's looking really good. You have to attach, you know, this little branch together and you have a beautiful chameleon which, can, which you can um, stand it on a table. So say these figures are all very, very well done. I'm actually, you know, pleasantly surprised at this. So let's open up our next box, which also contains four different eggs. So hopefully we get four different figures. If we get all four similar figures, I'm gonna be super upset to be honest with you. Alright, let's um have a look. Hopefully, really hopefully that you know we can get different figures. So let's try, let's try. Okay. We have lots of um, Kinder eggs right there. I think we will be able to tell the moment we open this egg up. Oh, it's a different one. It's a turtle. Nice. Very, very cool, guys. Alright, let's have a look at the instruction sheet. It seems to be a little bit complicated. Hopefully, it's not too complicated. Okay, so let's try this. There's like a rubber band as well. Okay, so let me figure out. Okay, let me just figure out how to example of this. Okay, it's actually very cool. So you basically put um, you know, the legs in or rather the flippers, and you have to like tie this little band right here. Um, tie them. Tie the two pairs of flippers together. 
before you lock them down like this they're definitely you know super fun um, if I return to um, the store that I've purchased this I'll definitely you know consider getting more for sure yeah very cute so this is basically the sea turtle the flippers look slightly weird I would say looks a bit too long but it's still a very very beautiful one yeah absolutely beautiful I love it so you can see we have opened quite a number of um, very cool figures so far so let's open this one up hopefully we are able to get um, a different one I think that will be really cool hopefully Okay, let's pop this open. Oh, it's a different one as well. We are extremely lucky, guys. This seems to be another kangaroo. Yep. Oh, no, it's not a kangaroo. It's a bunny. A rabbit, guys. Beautiful rabbit. Did we, like... You know, I think we have... We are almost getting the entire set, which is cool. We've got a turtle. We've got, um... The turtle we've got you know this kangaroo right here and we've did a rabbit we don't have the flamingo and um, this angel fish right here I think but you can see the figures are very, very beautiful they're quite high quality yeah so I am considering you know maybe we can actually like do a collection of um kinder animals Neptunes really really soon because we may have enough i'm gonna put them like into a small little box i think very cute oh you can even rotate the head so this is awesome yeah very very beautiful i'm regretting not you know getting more of them i'll definitely consider getting more of them i got this from a shopping mall or in singapore it's known as um sun tech city and i got i got it from um, a little shop that is selling like candies and chocolates is known as like cocoa tree i think if i'm not wrong yeah i'm planning to get more for sure because they are gorgeous these figures are gorgeous oh another different one nice We've got a giraffe guys how cool is this let's take a look at the leaflet you know we'll probably get a different yeah, it, it looks wonderful, guys. The giraffe. This one should be um easily assembled. Very, very beautiful. This has got to be the biggest figure so far. I kind of like this figure, I would say. Um, it costs about $14 for four eggs. So one is roughly about three fifty, roughly around there. Um, yeah, 350 so it's it's not cheap, but considering that, you know, these figures they're getting, I, I feel it's quite worth it, for sure, because they're quite high quality, and um, hopefully we are able to get a new one. Let's see. I feel they are even better than um, Kinder Joy figures, I would say. I'm definitely planning to get more, for sure. Oh, very nice, guys. I, I am, I am pleasantly surprised. This is um another one, koala. I you know I wish there is actually like a checklist, but I think you can actually like you know scan this and download and play the app or something like that. Yeah, you can try that, or maybe try it um in another video. But we've got a very nice koala. Let's have a look at the instructions. So we need to fix the koala first, I think. Let's try this. This is the head. Just pop in the head, I think. Should be quite easily done, I'd say. Okay. Yeah, this is not the right way. Like this. Super adorable. The figures are 
extremely well made so I am actually very very surprised by the quality of these figures I would say okay we have to attach this right here just pop it right in to form the tall branch because they have to break this branch into like two pieces because otherwise it might be um too too long you know so how do i click it okay yeah it's extremely cool i am extremely surprised by the quality of this figures <laughs> okay I think this is the right way very very cool guys I am so happy with these figures I yeah they are extremely cool let's have a look at um you know every single figure of every single figure I am pleasantly surprised so I'm definitely going to get more of them, Neptunes. I'm just going to keep my figures into this box right here. So let's take a look at this. This is the giraffe. So it has a movable neck, um, which is really beautiful. I'll probably display it in my shelf right here, guys. I'm not too sure, but you know, these figures are awesome. Of course, they are not cheap, so I'm definitely not going to throw them into a box or you know let them go missing i'm definitely going to keep them and really treasure them we have a sea turtle we have a penguin the penguin doesn't have any articulation which is kind of weird i'm kind of surprised yeah it's probably for you to like slide this because every single figure actually has like movement so this is the rabbit the rabbit has a, a movable head which is cool this is the kangaroo. I think the kangaroo you can move the, uh, the the body up and down like this. So it's amazing. I am very very happy with the figures. To be honest with you, um, I think this you are able to like make it jump, but better not because this is kind of like loose. Yeah, the branch is kind of loose, so. Just try to fix it back in. Yeah, beautiful figure. You can see the chameleon is like holding on to the um, branch. It's really, really beautiful. Um, this is the um, mountain lion. You are able to move the body. Beautifully done as well. So cool. And of course. The koala are able to move the head and hold on to the branch, the tree. It's absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Love them. I would temporarily put them into this box. If we have a bigger collection, I'm going to maybe consider displaying them. I think they look awesome. Thanks for watching this, guys. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.